Incredible job. Oh, hello. Scary. <laughs> My name is Tim Ziegler and I'm the Collection Manager for Vertebrate Paleontology at Museums Victoria. And this is Vertebrate Paleontology. This is the fossil skeleton of a Pleistocene extinct kangaroo called Cymostenurus occidentalis. This skeleton was found underground. It's from a cave in East Gippsland near the town of Buchan. So to enter the cave where this skeleton was preserved, we start by rigging ourselves up with harnesses and safety devices and squeezing down through a hole that's about the width of my shoulders across. And from there we down climb until we abseil for a little way, about eight metres, through a constricted passage, reaching the bottom. Then we go through a little U-bend on our bellies to corkscrew into the cave proper. From there, it's probably only about 20 metres movement to the spot where this skeleton was found. But altogether, that takes us about an hour. This, this might be where the kangaroo's falling down. Yeah, gotcha. So short-faced kangaroos were, for the last couple of million years, really the most widespread and most successful variety of kangaroo in Australia. Part of the reason this skeleton is so exceptional is that it was in an exceptionally difficult place to reach. It was a protected ledge inside a cave in a vertical shaft covered by boulders that were washing water and sediment away from the bones. Our team had to squeeze ourselves into really unusual shapes and work very carefully right at the extent of our reach. To be honest, what I'm doing right now is not exactly ideal. Just then again, to we're in pretty extreme circumstances here. It was discovered in 2011 when recreational cavers working with Parks Victoria first opened the cave. They were the ones who first laid eyes on its skull lying in the open air. When I first visited the cave 10 years later, I saw what looked like a whole skeleton with its bones in life position, even after tens of thousands of years. Can you still one? Yeah. Do you have it? Yeah. Perfect. By the time we were done, we had spent 58 hours underground over the course of two years to retrieve this skeleton piece by piece. Uh, what am I thinking while Tim's working? He's in a very awkward position down there. <laughs> um, but he's sort of like getting through it. Um, it's a slow, long process. He's doing the best he can and yeah, quite surprised at what he's able to pull out, what he's able to do down there. So to safely move these fossil bones from that environment up to the surface and back to Melbourne Museum, we would first carefully wrap and pack each individual bone. We use simple materials, toilet paper and wrapping tape. I'll admit that there was at times even more work to do than I had expected up at the surface removing the skull in particular at the end of a really hard day's work. <laughs> I did get to the point where I just had to take my shirt off and pack the surfaces above the skull in its container just so that I knew that it would make it out of that cave safely. Yeah, there's not much that a paleontologist wouldn't do for a specimen as incredible as this. Got it. This skeleton is the most complete fossil that has ever been collected from a Victorian cave. And I think that the quality of preservation makes it one of the finest examples of Cymostenurus occidentalis that's ever been found. <laughs>